Today is a privileged opportunity for us to gain further insight into Professor Aikenbaum's views on how to design fiscal policy. Uh, he was one of the main actors that made it possible that in the first decade of the 2000s, many central banks used these equilibrium models and um, people thought in central banks as at least an ingredient for policy to have these uh, equilibrium models. What we're going through in the major economies is a very persistent decline in the underlying growth rates. And it comes about, and I'll emphasize two things, persistent declining growth rates of productivity and perhaps declining investment rate, investment levels, at least in physical capital, relative to very high savings rates. How does the labor force grow? Well, it grows because of the growth rate of the population and it grows because of changes in the labor force participation rate. The growth in labor force, in, in labor productivity, lots of reasons, capital per worker, quality of the labor force, but there's the ever mysterious rate of technological change. I really do believe the new normal is slower growth and we're gonna have lower interest rates. Um, monetary policy, subject to various debates in the literature about this, it's hard for me to believe will be as, as, as effective completely as it was in the past. I remain skeptical that those new strategies will be perfect substitutes. So I think that we have to revisit the challenge of fiscal policy. And so I think unless we think creatively about alternatives, uh, we're potentially going to have much larger problems because of populism uh, than any problems of a temporary increase in the debt from 60% to 70% where we promise by law that we're going to reverse those temporary benefits.